don't have to worry about getting attacked by demons while you're here in Helaviz. This town is under the protection of the Abbey Praetor, Lady Teresa Linares. She keeps us all safe. Wow, she must really be something else. She is. She's lauded as the Frozen Queen of the Exorcists. She's as cool as ice and as pure and dazzling as freshly fallen snow. She's just the White Knight Helaviz needs. Our town is as beautiful and pristine as it is because we have Lady Teresa here with us. Anyone who disturbs her order, whether human or demon, will be frozen by her wrath, soul and all. Sounds just like an exorcist. The way she glares at the filthy. Oh, if only she would look at me like that, with those ice-cold eyes. Teresa, my love. If she lets idiots like him run around loose, then I'm sure she's not as infallible as he thinks she is. Found a real good The blade was badly rusted, but once I polished it up, it turned out to have a fun. I can scarcely believe something of that quality was languishing in my bargain bin. You've taught me quite a lesson. The weapon is yours as payment. My thanks. So you'll help us out? Of course. How did your errand fare? I see. So we're hunting a reptilian demon called Dial, are we? We'll check out his hometown first. Have fun, you kids! You aren't coming along? I'm afraid I've got bigger fish to fry at the moment. That little matter of tracking down my betrayer. Besides, if I stick around, I'm not so sure I wouldn't wind up as someone's midnight snack. My palate has standards. High standards. All the more reason to skedaddle! Look, a yak. Hey, Velvet, here's a fun fact. Yak tail hair is considered to be among the highest quality materials for a helmet's plume. Wow, really? Also, I don't care. At my house, we had this helmet. It was an incredible piece, covered with yak tail hair. The talk of the town. House Rangetsu has two treasures going for it, people would say. The Helm of Yak and Storm Howl. They must not have thought very highly of the rest of you. Hmm? Why do you say that? Although, I guess I can think of a reason or two. Oh well, it's nothing a demon like me has to worry about. Navigator for the shipping guild, Dial. He turned into a demon. He supposedly killed and ate his crewmates, then ran off. Demon blight? In Helaviz? What do we do? No need to worry. Lady Teresa is already dealing with it. She'll hunt down that Dial character in no time. They say that once you change, you can never turn back into a human. Is killing him our only option? Killing him would be a mercy. Demons are just monsters who've lost their humanity. Yeah. You're right. Things like that aren't human anymore. Not human, huh?
Let me get this straight, Alpha Area. You want to form an alliance with my Gamma Area to bring down the Betas? Correct. It's the classic strategy. Ally with a distant state and strike a neighboring one. What is this, a council of war? The enemy of my enemy is my friend, is that it? Indeed, if your Alpha Forces and my Gamma Forces work together, Beta Area is done for. <laughs> I like it. You've got yourself an Alliance Alpha Area. Excellent! We shall be victorious in this year's Hell of E's Grand Snowball Fight! Let us toast to our victory! This isn't a snowball fight, it's a snowball war. <laughs> Fools! I was the one who engineered their alliance! Once they eliminate Beta Area, the Alpha and Gamma forces will launch a full-scale assault to destroy the other. Exhausted, the victor won't be prepared when my Delta army sweeps down upon them. They have sealed their own doom. These kids really fight dirty. All's fair in snow and war. This cold is beyond ordinary. Well, Halavis is a northern country, but still, it wasn't. The cold, snow, and ice were never this bad. I know it for a fact. It's that, what do they call it again? Uh, global cooling? Yeah, that's the one. The Abbey says the world's getting colder. Thanks to all this cold, I need more warm clothing. Worse, I have to shovel snow and chop firewood all day. Ugh. Who's responsible for this global cooling? Let me at him. Well, don't look at me. It's not my fault. What a beautiful ship. Isn't she? She transports Flamestone and Sulfur to the capital in Midgand. Have you heard of Flamestone? It's this new explosive material the Abbey developed. Thanks to their discovery, we can make some really powerful new cannons and explosives. Explosives? Sounds dangerous. It is dangerous, but it's also necessary. Not only are there demons about, but we've humans to contend with too. With pirates and bandits in ever-increasing numbers. On the bright side, with a higher demand for Flamestone, Helloviz is prospering like never before. Flamestone is the only reason our little snowbound city is thriving. A keelhaul to anyone who says otherwise. So this ship goes to the capital. If I asked, could you take us with you? Nope, not happening. The guild ordered a total suspension of activity. We can't lift anchor. Besides, any ship carrying precious ores has an exorcist on board for security. You need the Abbey's permission. Sounds like they keep a tight lid on things. Yeah, I guess. But the Abbey makes the rules, so what are you gonna do? Without the Abbey, humanity would be dead in the water. A keelhaul to anyone that says otherwise. Nothing but ice and snow as far as the eye can see. Are you cold? 
I'm fine, but I'm not the one with the exposed midriff. Doesn't bother me, either. And watch where you let your eyes wander. Hey there, sorry. I, I meant no offense. Hmm. So you still retain feelings like shame, then? Wait, you don't? Me? I've lost a lot of my human feelings. I figured that was just part of turning into a demon. I didn't know that. But deep down, I'm still the same person I always was. And I can still enjoy a good drink. I'm glad I haven't lost that, at least. If you say so. Just wait until I pull out the good stuff. There's something growing all the way out here. That is one gutsy flower. It's a princessia. That's quite an elegant name. My sister loved them. I see. Thank you. And everybody's in position, I take it? Yes. Preparations are underway now. We're all looking forward to it. Not much longer. Keep up the good work. Of course. If anyone can succeed, it's you, sir. The time is nigh, Selica. Time to do what needs to be done. For you, for him, for everyone. Uh. Is something the matter, Velvet? No, I, uh, I just didn't want to disturb you. Perish the thought. You're not disturbing anyone. She's your sister, too. I know, I just figured that, well, she loved you the most out of all of us. And that, uh, you also loved her more than anyone else, so... Velvet, there's no ranking among family. Selica, Lafayette, you, you're all very important to me. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> it's almost the anniversary of her death. I better go to the Cape and pick her up, Princessia. That's a good idea. I'm sure that would make her happy. Yes. I really hope it does. The 
that snake Artorius. They say flowers have different meanings and stuff, right? Any idea what Princessias signify? Betrayal. Oh? I see a village. Let's go ask around. Thank goodness I was here. But any further attacks and... An exorcist. Was that Dial she slew? No. It wasn't a lizard demon. Are you crying? It's just... Everything that's going on. Demons run rampant in the Outlands. And yet the Abbey has explicitly chosen not to come to their aid. It's true we haven't the forces to be everywhere at once. And the people of the Outlands refuse to obey the Abbey's rules. It's a heartless decision, I know. But it follows from the Abbey's perfect logic and principle. Why make excuses to me? I'm not making... My name is Eleanor Hume. I am a Praetor patrolling for the Abbey. What is your business here? We heard there was a murderous demon in this town who fled from Helleves. The shipping guild incident, yes. I've been looking into it, but I haven't found any clues yet. Hmm. Worry not. We will track down that foul demon and put it to the sword. Did the exorcist lady go away? Yeah, she's gone. Oh, good. I didn't want us to get eaten. Eaten? I mean, I don't know anything about a demon. It's fine, you can tell me. I'll keep it a secret, I promise. There's a lizard demon in a cave to the north. He said he'd eat the whole village up if I told anyone. I'll give you these. Don't tell anybody, alright? Got it. That's a promise. A cave to the north. Hmm. Gotta say, the folks here really don't trust the exorcists, do they? <laughs> huh. This is actually rather good. What's wrong? A worm? Nothing. Can't taste a thing. Huh? <laughs> We learned what we need to. Let's look for that cave. <laughs> 